Hi everyone, so today uh, I'll show you how to use an emulator and gamepad on your Android phone. So first thing you need to do is go to uh, Emu Paradise. That's, uh, okay, so here we go. And uh, you should go to, uh, there's a left panel here, go to console emulators. And uh, for this demo or this tutorial, let's use Super NES, the SNES or Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So there you just click on the link and then you choose the platform. Uh, I have an Android phone, a Samsung S7 Edge. So I'm, I'm choosing Android. And then just uh, click on the download link over here. And uh, there, you see it's downloading. Now you can also do this on your phone's browser so that it downloads directly to your phone. Or you can do what I'm doing here. Uh, just download it from your computer, then transfer the, the APK file, the installer file to your phone. And then go to the ROMs, just click on the ROMs, and then there you go. So you select um, for, for what console. And here, let's choose Super Mario All-Stars, one of my favorite games. Okay, so there's a download link here, just click it. And again, you can also do this straight from your phone. Um, so there, so just look for the appropriate download link there, there it is. And there's a CAPTCHA. I, I don't remember experiencing this when I was uh, using this on my phone, but you know, it shouldn't be a problem. So just go through the hoops um, and verify that you're not a bot. And there, here we go. And then wait for a few seconds, the download link. Uh, should appear, should appear there. And uh, there, should be ready. So download. Okay, so these are really small files anyway. Shouldn't be a problem even your, even if you're on uh, 4G or LTE or even 3G. Okay, so you should know where, uh, where the files are downloaded, whether it's on your PC or on your phone. And then, so now transfer the files to your phone. Okay, so once you have it on your phone, you should install it. Uh, it's going to be this one. There you go, SNES 9X EX Plus. So that's the emulator. So the next thing that we need to do is to pair the the Bluetooth controller with with our with our gamepad. So we have here the. Uh, I peg a tomahawk. There you go. Let me just put this in pairing mode. Press Android and home button at the same time. There. And you can see it's showing up on my phone already. Uh, PG9068. Uh, so let me just pair that. Okay, so now that we have the I peg a tomahawk uh, paired, it's time to start uh, the game. Okay. So let's load a recent game. So you should know where you saved the ROM and let's restart the game. So here you go, um, Super Mario All-Stars. And if you want to check the, the controls, just press here, oh, not there. Um, let's start. There, so there's a joystick icon here. And you go to key gamepad input setup and auto detect. So press any key. So the, my profile here is generic gamepad. So that's what you should have if you're using the iPad at Tomahawk. Okay, so now we can start. Press start. There you go. And here we go with Super Mario Brothers 3, one of my favorite games of all time. One that really uh, stands the test of time. 
Okay, here we go. And here you see, I'm using um, the iPeg Tomahawk playing Super Mario Brothers 3 on my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Look at that, awesome. This game alone will give you hundreds of hours of wonderful playtime, right? And uh, what I download is the All Star, so you have um, Super Nintendo, uh, oh, sorry, um, Super Mario World, and the other games. Ah, come on. There you go. So you can see it's been a while. Whoops. Okay. So this concludes my tutorial uh, on how to connect uh, and how to, on how to use an emulator and uh, a gamepad on your Android phone. I hope this is helpful and uh, thank you for joining everyone. Toot, toot, toot.